Honourable Senators, my question is to the Leader of the Government in the Senate. Senator Harder, the Trudeau government made a secret deal with confessed terrorist Omar Khadr, reportedly worth $10.5 million. We don't know the actual amount because your government decided to keep the agreement secret. What is the Trudeau government trying to hide? Is it the amount of money you're actually paying to Cotter? Perhaps his sizable legal bills are in addition to the $10.5 million tax-free sum. Certainly, you're trying to hide the precise timing of the deal. Given the information came out July 3rd, it's a certainty that the Trudeau government made the deal with Cotter before July 1. I guess they didn't want the PM and his Liberal MPs booed off stages across the country on Canada Day. It's also highly probable that this secret Cotter deal was struck before Parliament rose in late June. You don't just arrive at a $10.5 million deal and pay out all the money overnight. What was the date the secret Trudeau Cotter deal was reached? Did your government make the deal before Parliament rose and hide it to avoid a barrage of scrutiny from the Conservative opposition in question period and from the national media? And Senator Harder, does this agreement contain details about how this massive payment to a confessed terrorist will be paid? Specifically, does the secret Trudeau Cotter deal refer to Tabitha Spears' judgment? Did the Trudeau government actually assist Omar Cotter in structuring the deal and $10.5 million payment in such a way so Cotter could evade that widow's legitimate claim to every single cent he received? Canadians have waited months for these answers. Senator Harder. Thank the Honourable Senator for her question. Uh, let me um, uh, remind this House that, uh, yes, the government uh, did announce a settlement that was reached uh, in bringing Mr. Carter, Cotter's civil case to a close. Uh, this settlement, to be clear, is about one thing only, the acts or omissions of the Government of Canada after Mr. Cotter was detained. That was the issue. The Supreme Court already found that Mr. Carter's rights were violated and protected legal proceedings and protracted legal proceedings have cost millions uh, of dollars and could cost more were they to continue, uh, with virtually no chance of success given the Supreme Court's findings. The fact is that when the Government of Canada violates any Canadian charters, charter rights, we all end up paying for it. That is the case here, and as with any negotiated settlement, details are confidential. Senator Matters. Senator Harder, it is not by necessity that the Cotter deal was confidential. Many agreements are disclosed when they, after they are reached. The Trudeau government here made a deliberate choice to keep it secret. $10.5 million buys a little leverage with the payee. The government could have and should have insisted that openness and transparency about this massive payout was necessary information for Canadian taxpayers. So, Senator Harder, I'll ask you again, what is the Trudeau government trying to hide in this secret deal? Is it the actual amount of the multi-million dollar payout, the precise timing of the deal, how the deal was structured to evade Tabitha Spears' judgment, or D, all of the above? Senator Harder, let me repeat that that let me repeat that what we are dealing with is a situation where the government of Canada has violated the charter rights. Uh, uh, excuse me, the government of Canada at the time was not a liberal government. Uh, it, uh, it, and the, the government, the succeeding governments that have been involved, and the precedents. The precedents in this case have been followed with respect to uh, the negotiations, the nature of the, of, the, of the agreement, and the fact that that agreement remains uh, as appropriate uh, confidential. 